into all things in Palo. And so are the guys over at Best Customs. Here at Best Customs, the builders know how to have a good time. Best Custom is fun. It's fun for us because we build cars. We take cars from the frames and we make them new again. Not as strictly lowriders or Impalas. We customize pretty much anything, you know? Including modern versions of these timeless classics. They can make it any way you want to ride. You know, we have your Impala and you just branch out. You can either go OG, you can go new generation, um, and then sometimes you get caught in the middle. You want the speed, you want the, the engine, you want to hear, just, you hear it roar. We make noise. We make noise. We make noise. This is, uh, I call it a, a hot ride, low ride. So, you know, I still got the, the low riding in my blood, but, you know, it's a 62 Impala. It has a 97 Vortec motor in it. Uh, Edelbrock intake, Edelbrock carb, 20 inch rims, and, you know, it still has a low rider vibe, but at the same time, you know, I can, I can get on the freeway and do 100 with no problems. Yo, we make noise. Rides like a new car. Rides like a Cadillac. We put a cam and we put everything in there to get it running, to get it running, right? It's a low rod. <laughs> it's in between. Because we just switched the wheels and it's a low rider, but we put the wheels back on and we can race. Original low riding is still with the 13 inch rims, with the batteries and, the, and hopping and everything. And you know, like I say, everybody likes the best of both worlds, but at the same time, some people are getting into the 20 inch rims because they want more of a hot rod look, but they still got the, the, the Impala, the low rider style in them. To me, I appreciate the big world cars as long as they can lay on the ground, as long as they can get low. These are definitely still low riders. At any day, I can take these wheels off and throw some 13 inch rims on here and go around the corner and it's just like just like any other low rider around town. All's well here with these Impala fans until a Buick shows up to cause a little trouble. You stand when someone comes at you. You stand the man down, pull it up. What you got? This young showboater is here to mix it up with the older guys. I'm not knocking the Impala. I love the Impala. Triple O G double O G G G O G. I love the Impalas. Don't get me wrong, but I love my luxury sport too. There you go. There you see it. Oh my God. I like. I like that. How you doing? <laughs> Well, we're doing better than this ride. The car's pretty much on. Start up, look. <laughs> That's why we like Impala. Yeah. So the Impalas hop and do everything they got to do and they keep going. They look good. Monte Carlo's, look at them. Yeah. They are haters. Don't worry about it. They're hating right now because I have an 87. <laughs> they might have, they may have, Check the they, they may have the 60, 61, 62, 63, but they hate on the 87 Luxury Sport. I'd rather pay for gas than pay for a tow truck. Oh! Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Coming up, Vita hits the road. Does it get any better than this Southern California weather? Riding with a drop top. And the Impalas are disappearing. We're going to find out where they've gone. We're heading back to Custom Lowe's just to see some of the coolest Impalas on the road today. A great 61 arrives, Vita's along with it, and the fun kicks right in. Hi! <laughs> Aww, so. Today's his birthday. Oh, happy birthday! Tell us a little bit about your car, the year of your car, and how it came about. Well, it's a 1962 Chevy Impala. Um, I've had it for 11 years. Oh and, wow! Uh, I've, I've been completely restored from the ground up, front to back. Every bolt in this car is brand new. And 
And it, what made you choose this color? Because it's a pretty it's the color. original, original 62, 1962 color. If you were to go to a dealer back in 1962, this is the car you would get it. This Impala is fully loaded, even in the trunk. 1962 original ice chest. These are accessories that come with the car back in 1962. And these are original 1962s. Oh, yeah. Styrofoam, regular ones, but these are all it. That's one cool accessory. And now Vita's about to accessorize a ride as she gets ready for a drive. But before she hops in, she has a few questions. Does it bounce? No, it doesn't bounce. It, no, no bouncing. No, no, it doesn't bounce. It's, it, 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 burn, it burns rubber, but it doesn't. It doesn't bounce. Oh, it goes fast. It goes fast. It's a hot ride. Oh wait, so you're taking me for a ride, but you can't go fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna take you for a ride in this one. I'm gonna take oh, you okay, for a ride this one. in the convertible one. This is just a. Uh, so this one, we're just gonna cruise, right? We're just gonna cruise. Yeah, we're going to a drive-in movie. <laughs> I see why you want to drive this. Does it get any better than this Southern California weather? Riding with a drop top. You're absolutely right. Because I'm originally from Jersey, so. Years back, classic Impalas disappeared in record numbers, and here's why. We lost a lot of uh, 64, 63s to Japan. This driver has two of them. I have a 1961 Impala convertible, and also I. I told you 1964 Impala Convertible. But now, U.S. Impala lovers can stop worrying. They are starting to make a comeback. They're starting to come back from Japan to the United States. Before, many people take it to uh, Impala, Florida. Now, no more. No more take it to Japan. Their island over there is not too big, so with all the cars they imported over the years, they're just, they have a surplus of them now. They got so many of them now that they can't, they can't sell them over there, so they want to send them back to us where we want them more than they do now. Now there's a unique switch, importing domestic cars back here. Wow, some guys will do anything to ride in style. Coming up, it gets personal. That's been my personal jewelry that I used to wear. Probably spent maybe about twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 worth of jewelry and put it on my car. I'm really trying to do a, a big, big impact out in the scene. Don't go away. into an Impala? Don't answer that question until you take a look at this 61 Chevy. At Custom Lowe's, they're making one of the most radical Impalas you'll ever lay eyes on. Tell me about this car because I've never seen anything like it. Out of all the years, 61 is the less production. So if you're gonna build a car, I figured 61 was the best car. Found you this found car. it in where? I actually found this in California, but I was flying to Kansas City. I went everywhere. I almost bought a car out of a museum. So we started coming up with a bunch of stuff, and we were, because I thought about doing the first alligator skin convertible top, so we we're going to call it Alligator 61, stuff like that. But since you go hunting for game, mm -hmm. so I called it Game Killer, and now as we start working more and doing more for the car, I'm really trying to do a, a big, big impact out in the scene. And I, this is, I'm hoping this just kills the game I and becomes one of the kill best lore riders. This yeah. Car. There's engraving as well as one high dollar mural. So I kind of wanted to bring the LA theme back. I'm an old school LA Ram, so I wanted to bring the old LA back and incorporate the whole um, game killer thing and the whole city of LA was burned in and the other, my side is the bright side. The next element, a little bling. We kind of put this together and then I said, hey, what if we put jewelry? I used to see people walking around with shirts mm -hmm. and kind of had a little rhyme. So I said, what if we do that to a mural? No one's really done, done it. And that's been my personal jewelry that I used to wear. So I took my old ring, put my ring on chain and bracelet and a ring and threw it all in. Probably spent maybe about twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 worth of jewelry and put it on my, um, on my car. Guys like this keep raising the bar. 
I want this car to be part of a trend-sending thing where it's more than just a car. It creates a big impact in the low-riding community. The Impala. Who would have known it would have such an impact? But it comes down to everybody wants an Impala. Chevy made something that made just history. You look at all these vehicles right here, you're talking about history, history, and history. It's not just a vehicle. This is my family timeline. Impala lovers recall that the cars all had humble beginnings. They were an affordable car. Back in the 60s, they were the working man's car. You know, at that time, you know, that's what people could afford. And, you know, the Cadillacs and stuff were more of a higher-end car, so it wasn't, a, it wasn't as easy to get. I mean, you can build a street car, a show car, you can build anything with Impala, so it's no limit, you know what I mean? It's never a limit for the lowrider, just put it like that, you know what I'm saying? Anywhere you go, any year you're in, you will stand out with an Impala. So as you can see, the little antelope named the Impala has quite a following. Next time, even more looks into the low life. Later. And that's just the end of it. The Monte Carlo Hopper Luxury Sport hey. is ready again. I'm going to knock him down. Oh, hey. Yeah, he hits back bumpers, maybe three or four lifts. <laughs> but, but first lift, come down.